Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss APC 2019 Abstract Algebra question number 28. And the question is if the phi is the islet's function and phi of 10 to the power 5 into 6 to the power 4 is equal to 2 power alpha into 3 power beta into 5 to the power gamma, then 3 alpha plus 2 beta plus gamma equals 2 dash. And the four options are option number 143, option number 240, option number 335, and option number 4 is 18. So here, this is a question regarding islet's function. So please watch this video till the end in this video i will briefly explaining Euler torsion function and uh, several formulas for computing phi of n based on this formula we can solve this type of problems so first we recall Euler torsion function First definition is for any positive integer n, let phi of n be the number of positive integers less than or equals to n and relatively prime with n. Then phi from z plus to z plus is a function and is called the Euler torsion function. That means for any positive integer n, phi of n denote the Euler torsion function and it is given by the number of positive integers which are less than or equal to n and relatively prime with n then that function phi of n is called the Euler tuition function for example if we take n is equal to 1 we have phi of 1 is equal to 1 because relatively prime number which is less than or equal to 1 is only 1 so phi of 1 is equal to 1 and similarly phi of 2 is equal to 1 because relatively prime with 1 which is equal to 2 comma 1 gcd is equal to 1 so we have phi of 2 is equal to 1 and phi of 3 is equal to 2 because 1 comma 3 gcd is equal to 1 and similarly 2 comma 3 gcd is equal to 1 so we have two numbers 1 and 2 which are relatively prime with 3 and less than 3 so we have phi of 3 is equal to 2 and similarly pi of 4 is equal to 2 because gcd of 1 comma 4 is equal to 1 and gcd of 3 comma 4 is equal to 1 that means two numbers 1 and 3 which are less than 4 and relatively prime with 4 and phi of 5 is equal to 4 because gcd of 1 comma 5 is equal to 1 gcd of 2 comma 5 is equal to 1 gcd of 3 comma 5 is equal to 1 and gcd of 4 comma 5 is equal to 1 that means these numbers 1 2 3 4 are relatively prime with 5 which are less than 5 similarly we can calculate uh, any num positive integer Euler function phi value okay now there are several formulas for computing phi of n so we will discuss some formulas first one is uh, Euler product formula and it is given by phi of n is equal to n into product p divides n 1 minus 1 by p where the product is over the distinct prime numbers dividing n so here phi of n is Euler's function and the product formula is n into product p divides n 1 minus 1 by p and here p is a distinct prime numbers which are dividers of n okay and the function phi of n is a multiplicative function that is if the gcd of m comma n is equal to 1 then phi of m into phi of mn is equal to phi of m into phi of n so that property is called multiplicative function property and next formula is value for a prime power argument that is if p is a prime power and k greater than or equal to 1 then we have phi of p to the power k is equal to p power k into 1 minus 1 by p so whenever p is a prime number and k value is greater than or equal to 1 then we have phi of p to the power k is equal to p power k into 1 minus 1 by p so we'll see one example if we take n is equal to 36 we have phi of 36 value here 36 can be written in prime power factorization as uh, 4 into that means 2 square into 3 square so phi of 2 square into 3 square and by using product formula we can write n into that means 36 into 1 minus 1 by p and here p is the prime powers which are divisors of 36 which is equal to 2 and 3 so we have 36 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 1 by 3 which is equal to 36 into 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 which is equal to 12 so now coming to the given problem we have phi is the Euler function and phi of 10 to the power 5 into 6 to the power 4 which is equal to 2 power alpha into 3 power beta into 5 to the power gamma we have to calculate the value of 3 alpha plus 2 beta plus gamma so first we consider the value of phi of 10 to the power 5 into 6 to the power 4 so consider 
consider phi of 10 to the power 5 into 6 to the power 4 and here this can be written as phi of 10 can be written as 2 into 5 that means 2 into 5 whole to the power 5 so we can write 2 power 5 into 5 to the power 5 into here 6 can be written as 3 into 2 that means 3 into 2 whole to the power 4 which is equal to 3 to the power 4 into 2 to the power 4 which is equal to phi of 2 to the power of here power is 5 and here power is 4 so 2 power 9 into 3 power 4 into 5 to the power 5 and we know that phi is a multiplicative function by using multiplicative property here we can write this is phi of 2 power 9 into phi of 3 power 4 into phi of 5 to the power 5 and here observe that 2 3 5 are distinct prime numbers so by using uh, prime power argument we have phi of p to the power k is equal to p power k into 1 minus 1 by p so this can be written as 2 power 9 into 1 minus 1 by 2 into 3 to the power 4 into 1 minus 1 by 3 into 5 to the power 5 into 1 minus 1 by 5 so by simplification we get this is 2 power 9 into 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 into 3 to the power 4 into 3 minus 1 means 2 by 3 into this value is equal to 5 to the power 5 into 5 minus 1 that is 4 by 5 so here 1 2 1 2 gets cancelled this is 2 power 8 into 1 3 1 3 will be cancelled this is 3 cube into 2 into 1 5 1 5 will cancel by to the power 4 into here 4 can be written as 2 square so this is 2 to the power here power is 8 and here power is 1 and here power is 2 so this is 8 plus 1 plus uh, 2 that is 2 to the power 11 into 3 cube into 5 to the power 4 okay now here alpha is equal to 11 beta is equal to 3 and gamma is equal to 4 because in the question it is given that 10 to the phi of 10 to the power 5 into 6 to the power 4 is equal to 2 power alpha into 3 power beta into 5 to the power gamma so therefore phi of 10 to the power 5 into 6 to the power 4 is equal to 2 power alpha into 3 power beta into 5 to the power gamma which is equal to 2 power 11 into 3 cube into 5 to the power 4 so we have to calculate the value of 3 alpha plus 2 beta plus gamma which is equal to 3 into alpha means 11 plus 2 into beta means 3 plus gamma value is 4 so this is 33 plus 6 plus 4 which is equal to 43 so therefore the option number 1 is correct is it clear i hope you like this video if you like the video please like share subscribe thanks for watching